Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Napoleon Total, and today we're back with another Enlisted episode. Today we'll be doing a guide on the Beretta M38, an Italian SMG Enlisted. This video will cover both the weapons and what you should do and what you should know in Enlisted. So let's get started. But before we start, this video has been only possible through the friends at Discord, meaning that if you haven't liked, subscribed, or joined the Discord, I highly suggest that you like, subscribe, and join the Discord. But with that all done, let's get started. Originally designed by Beretta's chief engineer Tullio Magrioni in 1935, the Mosetto Automatico Berettica, or Beretta Automatic Musket 38 or MAB 38, was developed from Beretta Modello 18 1830, derived from the Vera Pachero light machine guns of World War I. It is widely acknowledged as the most successful and best Italian small arms of World War II and produced large numbers of different variants. Italy's limited industrial base of World War II had no real barrier towards the development of advanced and small arms, but since most weapons of the time require a large amount of artisans and semi-artisan manpower to do fine-tuning. Italy's specialized workers excelled at this, but the initial slow rate of production meant that the MAB, or M38, Beretta, became only available in large numbers in 1943, when the fascist regime was already toppled by that point, and Italy was split between Allied and co belligerent forces, which in the north the Germans were controlling. The weapon was first used by Italian colonial forces before being adopted into the army, and then by the Air Force and the Navy. The Italian Navy or Rio Marina also purchased the weapon MAB-38As, given the San Marocco Marine Regiment which is also in game, and others naval security troops. The Rio Aeronautica, the Italian Royal Air Force, was issued the MAB-38 to its crack ADRA regiments. Orders were still in small and Carcano M1891 rifles remained the standard weapons for elite troops. Until 1945, the MAB-38 was available almost exclusively to paratroopers, black shirts, tank crews and Carabiner military police and other high volumes of firepower were maintained at close quarters combat superiority. The paratroopers the 185th Olgore Division was exclusively armed with the weapon. Black Shorts legions were regarded and used as elite assault troops both for their fanaticism and for their Beretta M38s. After the Italian armistice of September 1943, the Italian army melted away and an Italian army and a new Italian army was reconstructed in northern Italy under German control. The Beretta M38 was equipped for many units. The Italian Socialist Republic, the RSI, also fought a guerrilla campaign against partisans from its interception and as well as against the Allies. For assault and counterinsurgency operations where the firepower at close range was a vital asset, it was an ideal weapon. The produ production of the MAB or M38 became a high priority and was supplied in great numbers to RSI formations, especially elite infantry. It also became an iconic weapon symbolizing the Italian soldier in pop culture. Later in the war, a simplified variant known as the Beretta M38-44 was produced. Regardless of the tables of the organization and the equipment used, the Beretta M38 was a, was a popular weapon that eventually found its way to hands of any individual soldier, especially amongst officers and senior NCOs. The Beretta M38 was praised by Italian resistance movement as well, not only for being accurate but more powerful than the Sten, which was common issue against partisans. Although this small Sten was well suited for clandestine operations, the German soldier also liked the M38, judging it in judging it large and heavy but reliable and well made. The M38 series was extremely robust and provided well popular with Axis troops as well as Allied troops, who captured them in various examples. Many German troops, including elite troops such as the Waffen-SS and the Fallschirmjäger, regard the Beretta M38 and other German manufactured Beretta M38s in 1944 and 45. Firing was accurate at longer ranges than other submachine guns. The Beretta M38 could, impress, could deliver impressive firepower at close ranges, and at longer distances, the weight was an advantage, making the weapon more stable to control. In expert hands, the Beretta M38 allowed accurate sh short burst shooting up to 100 meters and effective range with an Italian M38 ammunition, an impressive result for a 9mm submachine gun. But that's it, that is all for the Beretta M38 in terms of its history. Let's go on to its characteristics. The MAB-38 or Beretta M38 in its first variants was considered a firing weapon by many standards, crafted with high quality materials, full, flawless, and finished with machine parts. The models M38-42 and M38-44 were easier and faster to build, with, with a sacrifice of speed for quality. 
The mechanism was a traditional simple blowback recoil, but with a novel floating firing pin, an automatic safety on an open bolt, which was later removed to save production costs, a recoil compressor on the magazine, and a bolt clocking handle on the sliding dust cover for a striking trigger rear guard with no fire selector but two triggers instead. The fore trigger was a semi-automatic and the rear trigger was fully automatic. The user could shift between two methods without switching levers for safety catches, which proved useful in combat. The full auto trigger had a safety catch on the left side which, which was eliminated in 1942 and the rear sight was adjusted from 500mm in the MAB-38. The MAB-38 had a wooden stock which was about 800mm in long and weighted about 5 kilograms or 11 pounds when loaded and it had an effective range about 200 meters. That's it, this is all it for the Breda M38. Let's go on to statistics. In terms of statistics for the Breda M38, a 3 star Breda M38 had a cal has a caliber of 9mm, hit power of 5.7, damage reduction over time of 5.7 at 10m, 3.3 at 100m, 2.8 at 150m, 2.7 at 200m, 2.5 at 300m. The armor penetration, surprise surprise to absolutely no one, is 1mm and 0.1mm at 1,500 meters. Muzzle velocity 400 meters per second, rate of fire is 550 to 600 shots per minute, reload time of 2.9, vertical recoil 20, horizontal recoil 5, has a fed system of 40 round magazine, weight of 5.2, cartridge mass of 11.2, firing modes are auto and semi-automatic, while for a 6 star version it also has a caliber of 9 millimeters, it has a hit power of 6.8, damage reduction over time of 6.8 at 10 meters, 4 at 100 meters, 3.4 at 150 meters, 3.2 at 200 millimeters, 3 at 300 millimeters, muzzle velocity 400 meters per second, rate of fire 630 to 690, reload time of 2.6, vertical recoil of 18, horizontal recoil of 5, 40 round magazine, 5.2 kilograms of weight, 11.2 grams of cartridge mass, and firing modes of auto and semi-auto. That said, let's go on to the recap section. In my mind, the Breda M38 is a very good weapon. In terms of placement, I really do like the placement in terms of yeah, Normandy and Moscow and Berlin, considering the fact that most of the weapons in those places are pretty much in a good spot, with the exception of Tunisia, and, and the reason why Tunisia is in a bad spot is because I believe it should be bumped down a little bit from, well, the late game. But considering the fact that it is at such a high level and the Americans and the British already have Thompsons, I don't think it's particularly fair, but at least we still do get the weapon in Tunisia. That said, the weapon is pretty good for a lot of things, I just don't think it's that good compared to the M1 Beretta in terms of long range. In terms of short range, I believe it's pretty good. I honestly don't think that you should be using it in long range, but... It's still usable. It doesn't have the hit power to mow down a lot of people quickly, unlike the MP43 and the, and the FG42, but it still does pretty good. Just think of it as a better MP40. I think this is pretty much for the Beretta M38. I believe is a pretty good weapon. I, I honestly wouldn't use it because, honestly, like unless you're in Tunisia, you're not going to be getting a lot of stuff because, well, you have better weapons and you just have to wait. This, if you use it in Berlin, Moscow, and Normandy, I think it's a waste of silver orders. But if you use it in Tunisia, I wouldn't blame you because it's, I think it's a pretty good trade for Tunisia. That said, I believe that's all it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one. Now before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I would be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.